Okay, so now we're going to look at things that are accelerating up and down. Okay, Before, we were looking at things sliding along a surface, and the surface pushed up and gravity pulled down, so we could ignore gravity. But now, gravity is what this is all about. Okay, There's a force. It's hanging on a string with a tension of 65 newtons. Well, tension is just force in a string, and if it's hanging on the string, then that means the string is exerting an upward force of 65 newtons. So positive 65 newtons. Obviously, I'm making the direction up positive. Okay. Now, that's not the only force acting on this, right? There's also the force of gravity, right? So the force of gravity is going to be m times g, which is going to be 5.0 kilograms times 9.81 newtons per kilogram, and 5 times 9.81 is 49.05 newtons down. All right, so that's another force down. I'm going to make this arrow shorter because it's not as big as the 65 newtons up. It's obviously going to accelerate upward. Okay, so negative 49.05. So step one, figure out all the forces acting on it. There's going to be an upward force. Don't forget the force of gravity, right? F equals mg force of gravity, right? Okay, and now we're all set. We can use F equals MA, right? The sum of the forces is 65 up, 49.05 down, and then that equals 5 times A, and this is an unknown acceleration problem, right? So 65 minus 49.05 is 15.95, and then divide by 5, and you get 3.19. Okay, that's kind of cool, isn't it?